top of the morning to ya. What is the quality of your questions? Just dropped off my daughter for school today and she's uh, heading out. I love it. It's a big, warm, actually kind of cool, foggy morning up here in Minnesota. Uh, yesterday, I was listening to a podcast. I'll drop the link down in the doobly-doo. It was really an awesome podcast and it was talking about um, AI leadership, uh, the author of a new book coming out actually next week on AI leadership. And it got me thinking how much I am under leveraging AI. And as I thought about that, I thought about the questions, he led us through a series of steps thinking about what are we asking AI to do and what are we asking it to act like and really getting into a whole bunch of steps I want you to act like this. I want you to be an expert. Here's some background information. And I want you to ask me three questions to clarify what's going on. And that just blew my mind. I'm like, oh, that's really good. Um, getting those three questions in, getting the AI as that expert to ask me stuff to make my results better. As I thought about that, and listen to that, I'm also reading Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I've read that three, four, five times now. And the first time I read it, it was probably 10 years until I read it again. When I read it again, I was astounded by the amount of value in that book. Um, seven Habits Part of it is seek first to understand, and that's where I get back to connecting all this together. Um, but when I came back to that book, 90% of all advice I give as a coach, as a friend, as a father, as a husband, as a mentor, came out of that book. All the ideas, they're all right there in one form or fashion. I've read two or three books on life planning, and I have a pretty good structure for a life plan. I'm building a life plan course right now. and they're all founded and based on what's in seven habits. Um, but the seek first to understand and having that clear communication is what is the quality of your questions. On top of that, what's the quality of your communication? When we give AI, it's hilarious. People are like, oh, you have to give AI really good instructions and clarity on what you're trying to do. Why don't we do that with people? Huh? Tell me here, why don't we do that with people? Give them that clear question, give them that clear instruction, that clear direction, that clear meaning of I know you, I hear you, I honor you and respect you. Give them that clear question of asking what they think, asking what they know, what their opinion is, and listening to it. Um, and it just, it just, it all clicked together for me. I thought it was, this was going to be an AI talk, but as I slept and prepared and planned, it's all about communications. I saw a joke on LinkedIn the other day about not worrying about our jobs being in, in danger as software engineers, software developers, because it listed out a whole bunch of things. One, you... AI and me, we both need clear instructions to get what you want. AI and me, we both, um, I can't remember. There's like four or five things. And one of them was AI doesn't post funny things on LinkedIn and I do, so my job is safe. Um, but really that communication is key. Asking the right questions, asking the deeper questions. I was, I've been using AI for a while and I'm asking it simple one-liner questions. Um, but as I'm as I'm doing some higher level thinking, it's like I can I can be higher level. I can ask good questions and get those questions answered by AI, and get it guided to bigger and better results. I can do that with myself, asking myself those questions or putting AI with a prompt to make myself better or coach or quiz me. I can be that for my children. 
being giving them better prompts, giving them better guidance, asking them better questions and listening to them in a greater and deeper way. I can do that with my wife. So think about where you can give better prompts to your life, to your wife, to your family, and to your AI, and you'll have a better day. You be blessed.